So can you use an ancient Power Mac G5? Believe it or not, yes, I do use this computer to do actual work. Uh, it's nothing involving the internet because there is no internet browser that this computer supports anymore that could do anything. You couldn't even sign into Gmail with it. It's so out of date. And there's not a way to really hackintosh it. Like I've got an older Mac Pro 1.1 at home that I hacked to, to run Yosemite and I'm going to get El, El Capitan up on it eventually. <clears throat> The problem is this computer is power PC, it's not Intel, so there's like a, a you cannot go beyond a certain point with them, uh, which really you couldn't go beyond that point since about 2006. <laughs> um, so I use this computer, believe it or not, to record all of our stuff. I bought it for $50, literally. Uh, I maxed out the RAM for like 100 bucks. <clears throat> I actually recently put an SSD in just to help give it a little bit more life and speed. So what I use it for, just sits here, obviously. I use it to run an older version of Digital Performer, the last version that dig that a power PC could run, which was DP7. And I've got all my sessions set up ahead of time uh, with with everything labeled. So when I come in for rehearsal, you know, just pull up a fresh new pro, you know, fresh new project, and I already have everything saved as a template so it saves time. I already have most of my EQs and everything set, gates and things like that set, <clears throat> and it totally runs runs pretty well on the computer. Tonight we recorded up to 20 minutes worth of stuff, and the computer runs perfectly fine. So it's pretty crazy how, well, let me turn up the mains. Top. So we're learning the Haga Nagila or Navila, whatever. But I do I do real work with this computer still. It it mixes, it it's it's great for rehearsals and it's great for just tracking. If you don't have a lot of plugins running, it totally runs perfectly. I mean you can see all the meters. Everything is is quick and 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 doesn't lag. Now sometimes when we're at rehearsal and let's say we run up to, you know, sometimes I record up to 45 an hour worth of worth of stuff. It'll start to bog down a little. A lot of times it's doing background processing. I do have it turned off in, D in Digital Performer so that it's not trying to access or figure out the beats and the tempo and everything to do like actual editing. But it'll still log down, like bog down a little. Um, and I am a little nervous. One of our songs that we're gonna be doing on the EP is gonna be really long. And I'm a little nervous that the computer will be able to hang up to that point to record drums and then do vocals here and everything, but I got a good feeling we'll we'll get through it just fine. Which is fantastic. So when we track, obviously drums are here, everything's here, and all of our pre's and all that kind of good stuff. I've also got bins full of all of our mics down here <clears throat> in there because this place gets mice and bugs and all sorts of stuff. So trying to protect our mics. <clears throat> So when we track, it's just going to be, you know, come down here, computer's already here, pre's already here, everything's already set up, and just pop it over on a flash drive, since it's Macintosh to Macintosh, there's no issue, and take it on, take it on home with me, so, that's our, that's our Mac Pro G5, um, pull this up, I'll, that doesn't even show the serial number, so, there it is, dual, dual 2.7, PowerPC G5 with 8 gigs of DDR RAM and uh, like I said it put a SSD in it and the SSD made it made a nice a nice bump I discovered how much the SSD makes a difference in the Mac Pro I put an OWC one in it I didn't want to put that kind of like to buy an OWC one they're kind of expensive so I just picked up you know I think it was $50 for the Samsung one it was the cheapest one I could find online and I, I had to buy like a bracket or whatever to make it to make it work, but it, it, I think all in it was like seventy-five dollars to put an SSD in, and it makes a big difference to to the speed opening and closing different different programs. Like if I launch Digital Performer, just launched it. You know, it's ready to go that fast. Really, you know, that's. That's not bad performance for a computer that's from 2000 and 
four, maybe five. I don't know. It's old. You know, I'm, I'm in. I'm ready to go. Like the Project Fire we were just working on, everything's everything's loaded up. So, you know, if you launch things, it, it does launch quick, which is which is great. Um, <clears throat> I'll, do, I'll do iTunes real quick. You know, that's it. <laughs> so, like I said, you can't use it for the internet, unfortunately. I've got Reason on it. I haven't opened a Reason in forever. <coughs> we use Reason 7 on the other computer, so I never use Reason 4 because I'm missing all the rack extensions and everything. But, I mean, it'll it'll open up projects quick. I mean, and, and they, run, they run smooth. And this is a demo. I've got it set up with a with a, a backup drive in there, and I actually use the backup as backup and just our bulk storage in general. So uh, because the SSD is so small, it'll all fit on fit on there with with no problem. So that's our our Mac Pro or not Mac Pro. What am I saying? Our Power Mac G5, our ancient ancient computer that I got for 50 bucks that I thought I was going to create suds for spuds with, and then discovered that it wasn't quite fast enough and and the all the different plugins and I couldn't use an up-to-date version of anything and and then decided to pick up the Mac Pro which I got at the time for even $500 that I produced it on and then I put another probably about $300 into it to extend its life that computer is like just fully maxed out to everything it can be and and I think we'll be able to get through the next at least two releases with that so this is our ancient Mac uh, Power Mac G5 that we still use to do actual work um, so thanks for watching the video like I said I wouldn't recommend this commuter for anything other than actually kind of what I use it for because you can't browse the web with it. it it there's no like plugins and like nothing's compatible with it I've got an old uh, laptop a power power pc g4 laptop whatever from what my freshman year at berkeley and that thing is useless i tried to go online with it once and it it was too slow and then it blah 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 but you know so it's the same deal with this one none of the plugins will work you can't even like open youtube or gmail but for running software like what i have to do in here it's it's perfect it's it's totally an invaluable tool uh or you know a huge part of our kind of what we do for rehearsal so um so our room is probably the grossest room in the whole world, but um, thanks for watching the video.